Hello guys, this is Paul McWhorter from TopTechBoy.com and we are here today to learn Fusion 360 or Die Trying. We're here with lesson number eight in this series and what we are going to do today is learn how to make 3D printable nuts and bolts that have nice knurling on the nuts and bolts, something that make it makes it easy to finger tighten and loosen and also just looks super cool. So we're going to be developing a little bit more Fusion 360 skills targeted towards a 3D printer. Okay, what I need you guys to do is pour yourself a delicious cup of coffee. Ah, very good. I need you to fire up Fusion 360 and I need you to get ready to learn some neat, cool stuff. I'm going to get out of your way and then we are going to create a new design. All right, and then we are going to start with a sketch. We are going to sketch a circle, center diameter circle, and I like to sketch where? I like to sketch in the XY plane because you get things more naturally oriented for 3D printing, and that would be the red-green plane, so I will click here. Okay, I'm already in circle mode. I will hover over the origin, click once, pull away, click again. Now click D for dimension click on the circle edge come out I want this to be 25 millimeters enter boom now I want another circle so I'll click C hover over the origin click come out now click D for dimension click on the edge of the circle come out and I want that 15 okay that should be a pretty nice nut and bolt so 25 and 15 you guys know that normally I don't like to copy and paste but not too much can go wrong with just two circles what I will do is I will create a point to lock down to by drawing a construction line I never like to have things floating around so I like to lock everything down with a dimension so I will click L for line hover over the origin come out click again click to check mark get my select tool right mouse click and then say make it a normal construction line now this is the point I'm going to design to but I need to dimension so click D come here come down let's make that 35 all right now this point is locked 35 out and I will make a copy and put it there so I will select my original circle right mouse click copy click off right mouse click and do a paste okay now this is ready to move I'm just gonna scoot it over a little bit and then I am going to say okay I want to get it there with a constraint though and that will lock it to that point as opposed to moving it so I come over here I get a coincident constraint and what do I want I want this point to be constrained to this point boom I now have the sketch ready <clears throat> that I can do the uh, nut and bolt with so let's now kind of get a little bit better view here that looks good and now let's start doing some extruding let's make this the uh, nut let's make this the bolt here okay I know I keep switching back and forth but what I'm gonna say is I'm gonna extrude what do I want to extrude I want to extrude this and I think that I want to extrude that mm. 25 okay I will extrude that 25 enter okay when I do that what it does is it turns my sketches off so I come down here I click here and that brings my sketches back now this is going to be the hole in the nut so I don't want to extrude there but I can do another extrusion create I want this and shift click this and then what do I want to bring those up I want to bring those up 15 do I want to bring those up 15? No, that's too much. I want to bring them up 10. Okay. Wow, that looks pretty good. Man, we are getting really close here to having a nut and a bolt. Let's go ahead and put our threads on. We will come up and say create. And we will say threads. I will click here. Threaded inside surface. Now remember that is just a picture of a thread. To make it a real thread, a printable thread, I click here and say OK. All the rest of that looks good. Click here, say create a thread. Okay, and then I will 
click that, the model, to make it 3D printable. OK. Look at that. I have a really slick nut and bolt going here, a really slick nut and bolt. And now what I need to do is we're going to get to what the topic of today's lesson is, which is knurling, to put a knurl on there. And this is really actually pretty simple. And so what I will do is I will come in and I will select uh, a what I want to do is I want to create a coil. Believe it or not, I'm going to create a coil. So where do I want to create a coil? I come under body, uh, create, and then get a coil. And then it wants to know which plane or face you're going to put the coil on. Well, let's put it under this one. OK, so we're going to put it under this one. And then it says, what is the center point? Let's get it over the origin and click. OK, that's good. And then specify a diameter. Well, let's see if we can come out and click to there. Really want to get it to click to there. So I might just, it's not seeming to want to click, so I'm going to type in 25 so it's exactly right, and then enter. OK, and then enter. And now this comes up with my coil, and now we fill in the parameters for the coil. And let me explain what I was doing is it didn't seem to be snapping to that other circle. So I put 25 just to make sure that it's exactly coincident with, uh, with that circle. So the diameter here is 25. That's good. On revolutions, we're going to go 0.25 revolutions. And then on height, what was our height? The height of that was 10. OK, and then uh, the angle, we don't do anything. We want an internal triangle on the selection section. We want an internal triangle. OK, the selection, we want it inside. So triangle internal inside and we want it to be one millimeter. OK, and then what we want it to do is cut. All right, so boom, let's look at that. You can see that what we've done is we've kind of put a cut in there, and that's our first one. Now what we need to do is we need to mirror that cut around the x-axis. So let's see if we can do that. We'll come in. We're going to say Create Mirror, Mirror. OK, and now what do I want to mirror? Make sure you select both faces of this cut. So I want to select that. And then I want to select that. There are two faces. And I might need to turn this a little bit to get that other face. Right mouse click OK. Get the other face. Boom. All right. Now, what is the mirror plane that I want to mirror around? I want to mirror around. i got to rotate a little bit. I want to mirror around the XZ plane, right? I just want to flip it over that red line. Right mouse click OK. And then so I'm going to click that. and. Boom, that looks good. OK, so now you see I have a cut going both ways. Now all i got to do is just repeat that cut all the way around, and I should end up with nice uh, knurling. OK, so let's then get ready to do that. What we're I'm going to try to align this where I can see all four of those faces. I think I can see all four faces. Now I'm going to create, and I'm going to create a pattern. OK, a circular pattern. All right. It says what objects you want to create a pattern out of. Well, I want this face. I want this face. I want this face and I want that face. OK, and now I want to do what axis do I want to do around? I want to go around the Z axis and then let's just try two. So if we did two there. OK, let me see if I can turn this around so you can see it. You see it put two cuts. That doesn't make a very nice canural. Let's uh, uh, right mouse click. OK, got to get out of that tool. Then let's try four. OK, that's looking a little better. What if we did eight? OK, that's starting to get interesting. Uh, Sixteen. OK, 16, you could almost kind of call 16 a neural. But you can see that it's still leaving diamonds. And so I'm going to come up and I'm going to say, right mouse click OK. I'm going to try 32. All right. Now with 32, it really looks like it's going all the way around. And it looks like it's creating little pyramids. And so let's go ahead, right mouse click OK. Let's go ahead and say OK and take a look at that and see what it looks like. This actually is kind of quite a bit of calculation, so it might take a while, might take a second or two to do this. 
have a sip of coffee. Okay, so once this is, okay, wow, look at that. This is exactly what we were looking for. Okay, do you see how we get those nice curls? Now we need to come in and do it on the other one. One thing over here, remember how we on the cut had to give it an axis to uh, draw on, right? An axis to rotate around. And so I need to create an axis here at this point. So I'll have something to repeat around. And so I need to come in and I need to draw a line and I want to draw a line in the XZ plane. Boom. You see that? It gives me something to draw on. And now I click L for line. I come here to this point, click to it. Okay. And then come up, make sure you come up vertically, click again, click OK. Now select right mouse click on the line, make it a normal construction line. That's just going to give me something to rotate about. Okay, so now let's come in and let's uh, do our cylinder again. Let me give it so I can see this a little bit. I mean do our uh, spiral again. Is that, I can't remember exactly what it was called. It was called a coil. Okay, I want to do a coil. I want to do it uh, about the center point. Let's make sure we're snapping to that center point. Uh, diameter of the circle, that is not good. So I'm going to escape out of that. All right. I'm going to stop this sketch. That's what I should have done. Okay, now I'm going to create and I'm going to create a coil. And I am going to create a coil on this geometry. I'm going to snap to the center point. I'm going to zoom in to make sure that it snaps there. Okay, I'm going to snap to it. And then let's see if we can come out. Again, it doesn't seem to want to snap, so I'm going to type in 25. Enter. Enter. All right, now I need to start filling in these parameters. And remember, we wanted uh, 0.25 revolutions. We wanted a height of 10. We wanted an inside. Uh, triangle we want inside and we want one millimeter and that looks pretty good and we will click OK for that cut I'm going to rotate around and you know what I'm going to do you know what that looks like that looks like I might not have gotten exactly on that origin Okay, do you see how I kind of didn't completely cut it out? That probably means I didn't snap to something that I needed to. So I'm going to go back and undo that and go back and undo that. Okay, let's try that again and let's see if we can just get that perfect. I could have just deleted that face, but I really want to make sure that I'm getting this perfect. So I'm going to come create and I want to create a coil. I want to create it on this surface. I want to snap Let's see if I can get absolutely perfect there. Snap. Okay, that's good. Let's see if it'll snap. Actually, it's snapping this time. Okay, that's good. And then remember, we wanted a diameter of 25. We wanted 0.25 revolutions. We want a height of 10 millimeters. That goes the full extent of the bolt. And then we want an internal triangle. Internal triangle. We want it on the inside, and we want it one millimeter. So let's see if that will do a perfect cut. Yeah, you see that did a perfect cut. All right, what do I want to do? I want to mirror that now. And so I'm going to create a mirror. All right, I'm going to select this face and select that face. And then the mirror plane is going to be this XZ plane. Right, just think you want to flip over that XC plane. That is not the right one. So let's try it again. Okay, you know what I can do? I'm going to try to turn this other body off, body one, so I can see those planes a little bit better. All right, so let's say uh, we got to just fool with this a little bit. I want it. To flip around this plane. So mirror plane, select that. Doesn't seem to be taking that mirror plane. It seems to be doing what it wants. 
and ignoring me. So I'm going to do this again, okay? Again, what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn body one off so I can see a little better and maybe that will help. So I'm going to create a mirror. I am going to select two objects. I want faces. Okay, I want to select this face and I want to select that face. And let's look and see if that is right. I did not get the second face, so we will try this again. Right mouse click OK. OK, so I'm going to select this face and that face. OK, now I need to select the plane. So I'm going to get this where I can see it. You see, I want to flip around this XZ plane here which should be this one. There it is. Okay, so now all is good. Sometimes you just got to slow down and get these things figured out. All right, so let's rotate this around where I can see it. I'm going to zoom in so I can select everything. Now we need to create a pattern. So I'm going to create a pattern. Okay, a circular pattern. What do I want? I want these four faces. One, two, three, four. Okay, the axis, remember how we drew that line a while ago to make our life easier? There it is, that is the axis. And how many did we do? I believe we did 32 and that worked nicely and we will click OK. Holding our breath. Maybe, let's see, I better, you know, don't click on it while it's thinking. Just stop your clicking, have a sip of coffee. Okay, this should be any second now. Boom, there it is. Now let's turn this other body back on over here so we have both of our bodies showing. Look at that, man. This was a pretty quick lesson, and we have made a beautiful knurled nut and bolt. Okay, so what we want to do is I'm going to submit this to the 3D printer, so I'm going to say 3D print. Okay, and I am going to send it to the, uh, ah, let's see, I guess we need to select what we want to print. I will select those two things, and then I will come up and I will say 3D print, hold my breath, hope it will do both of these at the same time. This is taking a little lo a little longer to do this because it is, uh, all those neurals turn out to be pretty uh, complicated, so we're going to say, Okay. Why is it still thinking? Okay, give it a second to think. Okay, now, uh, all right, now it is going to, I sent it to my, uh, my slicing program, and uh, this is the Raise 3D. You can set yours up to send it to whatever you would like, but look at that. Okay, look at that. We have a beautiful, correct, no error, knurled nut and bolt. Okay, I'm going to select this to the printer and I will be back shortly and uh, we will take a look at it. Okay, I am back and now let's take a look at what we just printed. Is this not beautiful? Is this not beautiful? A beautiful, beautiful knurled nut and bolt okay 3d printed on the raised 3d printer okay guys this has been a quick lesson but hopefully you're getting the hang of fusion 360 hopefully you're getting kind of comfortable with it operating in that sketch mode and i just want to emphasize again these are the things that we have learned in these lessons these are the things that are the keys to success in fusion 360 you're going to win or lose the battle at the 2d sketch level at this 2d sketch level when you sketch you've got to be mindful of dimension and you have to be mindful of position okay once you're mindful of position and dimension then you want to start being very mindful about constraints okay you want to be very careful with your constraints so you're deliberate with dimension you're deliberate with position and you're deliberate with managing your constraints and if you do those things you will be very well on your way to success I didn't do parametric modeling today to make this video a little bit quicker but also go back and make sure that you're developing comfort in our earlier lessons on parametric modeling that is really the best way to do things okay guys I hope you enjoyed this lesson hope you enjoyed this series of lessons if you enjoyed it think about giving us a thumbs up it's a huge encouragement to me 
If you like the video, think about subscribing, sharing it with your friends. I would love to hear your comments down below. I read all of them. I try to answer as many as I can. I'd love to hear, are there even any people following along with these, this series? I'm kind of having fun with it. So anyway, this is Paul McWhorter with TopTechBoy.com. I will talk to you guys later.